Welcome to the number one spot health and wellness practitioners go to double their current income and turn their 10 hour work day into a 10 hour work week. Join us as we dive into the tips, tools, and tech you need to create a life and practice on your own terms. More freedom, flexibility, fulfillment, and of course, funds. It's time to build your online practice. And I'm your host, Michelle Rogers, also known as The Wealthy Woman. Be sure to subscribe for your weekly dose of education, inspiration, and action. Let's get started. Today's topic is the kind of the logistics around pivoting to an online practice. So let me go ahead and share my screen. I get a little bit of fancy when it comes to these master classes because I don't want them to just be like a, you know, light, you know, non-substance kind of training. Like I want this to be useful for you. So I do my best to create content that is actually applicable, something that you can walk away from and be like, oh my gosh, I actually have like a tool where I can do something and actually take steps towards doing this because I have just been talking to so many practitioners lately, so many practitioners who are stuck, just feeling so stagnant in their current position and not knowing how to make the transition, like logistically make the transition. So I want to help you do that if I can. So let me go ahead and get this um, set up on my end. It should only take a moment. Let me share my screen. If you have any questions, let me actually pull up um, the video on my phone. So, because I won't be able to see Facebook in the background. So if you have any questions while I'm going through any of this, do not hesitate to let me know. Um, just pop your question in the comments, okay? Um, and if you're watching the replay and a question comes up, let me know also. Let me know you're watching the replay. Okay, welcome to Pivoting to an Online Practice, how to map out your timeline and bring your current patients along for the ride. Assuming you have them, right? So I'm going to show you how to exactly create a smooth transition to the online space if you're pivoting from a brick and mortar practice. So basically, I'm going to show you what I did not do, <laughs> because if you know me and you know my story, you know that I did it in a way that I would never recommend. I did it cold turkey and I just like referred all my patients out and was like, See ya. I'm going to go into this online space I know nothing about. <laughs> that was back in 2018. So yeah, there was really no resources, no people doing it, no other practitioners who had done it successfully that I knew about at the time. So it was uh, the wild west. So if you love this masterclass, stay put. I've got something super special. Some of you might already know about it coming up. So um, yeah, if you want to hang out with me some more, you want to learn from me, um, this is the way. So again, hi, I'm Michelle. Um, I have been in practice for over 11 years now. Um, I did the whole primary care insurance paradigm, 200 patients, you know, drove myself into the ground for the first four years of practice, got super burnt out, um, ended up going to private practice, cash-based, um, and yeah, worked with women, mostly with hormonal dysregulation, autoimmune conditions. And I was still just like, not really feeling totally fulfilled and feeling like I was aligned with what I was doing. And so I went into the online space and I treaded water for quite some time, but I made it work. I got the right mentors, the right coaches and, uh, yeah, really stepped into my own embodiment and self-leadership in the process and um, have been diving deeper and deeper into personal development ever since. Um, but you guys might also agree with my philosophy here. When we give our body the right information, instructions, environment, it does what it does best heal, right? And this doesn't just go for like our physical body. This goes for all of the things, right? And that's why I keep this here because, you know, a lot of times we just associate that with like health and wellness. This is like, giving our body, like I'm talking about internal and external stressors, right? I'm talking about freedom. I'm talking about flexibility. I'm talking about deep fulfillment in what we're doing. This is all aspects or these are all aspects of health as well, right? So uh, I'll get off my, soap, my soapbox here. 
But us as practitioners, we have the capacity to change the world, right? The ripple effect of this is absolutely insane, incomprehensible, really. So the better we take care of ourselves, the more fulfilled we are, the better we're able to show up and serve our clients, right? The better they're able to show up and serve in whatever capacity they're meant to serve to bring their light to the world, right? Showing better, showing up better for their kids, you showing up better for your kids, partners, friends, families, neighborhoods, communities, movements, right? The ripple effect is real. So my guess is that you may be feeling when it comes to moving your practice online, a bit overwhelmed, a bit uncertain, and maybe even some resistance, right? So when it comes to overwhelm, life's constant obstacles keep piling up, leaving you with no break and an overwhelming sense of being stuck in a never ending cycle. Anybody? Anybody? (laughs) Uncertainty, lingering doubts about patient acceptance, right? Oh my gosh, like, what are they going to think if I go online? What are they going to think about me? Are they going to judge me? right? And the future casts a shadow of uncertainty, making it hard to confidently navigate um, the transition to an online practice. Resistance. So, you know, uh, the allure of familiarity holds you back, right? That comfort zone, the thing that you know, the thing that pseudo stability, that pseudo security, right? But it, it's feeling reluctance and apprehension towards embracing the necessary changes for an online practice. Is this resonating with anybody? <laughs> I see a couple of people here. Hey, how's it going? Um, so good to see you. Hey, Lauren. All right. So if this sounds like you, you're in the right place. I have got you covered because I have freaking been there. So my hope for you is at the end of this masterclass that you are going to have a little bit more confidence, a little bit more clarity, and a touch of excitement. Hopefully more than all that, but yes, confidence with a clear roadmap for transitioning your practice online and retaining current patients. You'll exude confidence in navigating the process successfully. Clarity, uncertainty dissipates as you gain a clear understanding of the benefits of an online practice and a well-defined timeline. It guides you with purpose excitement, embracing change. You'll feel a surge of excitement, recognizing the vast potential of an online practice and eagerly engaging current patients while effectively communicating the transition's value. So, uh, and always, right? I know Rockefeller is a bit controversial, but I love this quote. Do not be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. Like, uh, like that one hits so hard, right? Do not be afraid to give up the good to go for the great man that can be applied anywhere in life. Okay. So I see you right every day, waking up, feeling dissatisfied and stuck in a routine that no longer brings you fulfillment, the monotony and lack of inspiration drain your energy, leaving you longing for a more meaningful and purposeful practice. Fear of taking risks, holds you back, trapping you in a cycle of settling for mediocrity. The weight of conforming to the status quo and the constant yearning for more leave you frustrated and restless. You crave a path that aligns with your passions and allows you to make a genuine impact. It's time to break free, find security and excitement, and create a practice that fulfills you both personally and professionally. All right. Time for freedom, flexibility, and fulfillment. These are like the pillars, right? Freedom, flexibility, and fulfillment. So freaking good. So today, the agenda, what I'm aiming to cover is one, the importance of pivoting to an online practice and its benefit for both practitioners and patients, strategies for mapping out a timeline for a seamless transition, techniques for effectively communicating the transition to your current patients and ensuring their continued support. So imagine the possibility, build your online practice. So working online offers you unparalleled freedom and flexibility. Imagine waking up each day with renewed enthusiasm and purpose, structuring your schedule to prioritize self-care, personal growth, and quality time. With a global reach and innovative approaches, your practice thrives, bringing financial abundance and allowing you to invest in your own growth. 
This alignment creates a life of passion, purpose, and fulfillment where you can make a meaningful impact while enjoying the rewards of a balanced and liberated lifestyle. Not too shabby, right? So why now? You know, a lot of people are like, yeah, I've been thinking about a practice. I spoke with one woman today, actually, who's been thinking about like starting an online practice for nine years, nine years, just like thinking about it, wanting it like, let's not do that. Let's not stay stuck. Right. So why do this now? I one, I believe we are still in the early adopters phase. Like when I was doing it, when I started back in 2018, there was like no one, literally I had people like other naturopathic doctors reaching out to me and being like, what are you doing? I don't think you can do that. That's not okay. Like, blah, 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 blah. like I had, I got so much resistance when I did it, but I was like, I don't care. <laughs> I, this is what I want. Like this, I'm going to figure it out. And I did. Um, but yeah, I do not, if, if this is on your radar, if this is something you want to be creating, like do not wait do not wait. Time passes so fast, right? And it's not a renewable resource. Okay. Once time is gone, it's gone. So do not waste it. So why now? One technology, right? Today's advanced technology has made transitioning online seamless with high-speed internet, user-friendly tools, enabling practitioners to deliver services effectively and connect with clients virtually. I have noticed since starting in 2018, because obviously that was before everything happened with COVID, like people were really hesitant. They were like, wait, I don't, I don't understand. Like, how can this work? Like what, what's up with the labs? Like, I don't like zoom what, like it was so foreign. And then it was like COVID happened. And now everybody is just like, oh yeah, totally. Like I prefer online. Oh yeah. Like it's, it's so much more accepted. Right. And that's just going to continue, continue moving in that direction more and more acceptance from clients, but also more and more, um, what's the word I want to say? Like they're going to want it more desire from clients to be in the online space. Okay. Buying behavior. So consumer preferences have shifted towards online services, creating a receptive market for virtual practices. Clients now seek convenience, accessibility, flexibility, making it an ideal time to meet their evolving needs, right? No one wants to commute, let alone spend money on gas, right? Like, no, no one has time for that. Okay. Um, Connectivity. Unprecedented global connectivity allows practitioners to transcend geographical boundaries. I live in Mexico and I can still have private clients in the States, in Canada, in South America, in Europe, right? Reach a global audience, collaborate with professionals worldwide and tap into diverse perspectives and insights. It is the perfect time to be in the online space, right? Now is the time. We are the early adopters still. I don't know if it's going to last much longer because there's so many practitioners coming into the online space now, right? So jump on it if it's what you want. Now is the time. So let's let, like get into the logistics around actually making the shift, like building your online practice, mapping out the transition piece. So what I typically recommend is that three months two to three months is an awesome transition period because it's not so far down the line to where it's like, oof, like, I don't know, but it feels good. It feels good for, I've found for practitioners, but also for current clients, if you have a current brick and mortar. So I've got kind of a mapped out um, possible timeline. Keep in mind, you could lengthen this, you could shorten it, whatever feels best, but this is kind of like a general timeline to go through. So feel free if you're watching, I see a few of you hanging out. Hi, it's so nice to see you. Thanks for joining live. Um, Again, for those of you who are new to this live stream, pop your comments, questions, whatever in the chat, totally happy to answer those. Um, So let's go through. So assessing readiness. So the first couple of weeks, evaluating your current practice by assessing strengths, weaknesses, um, and unique value that you bring to your clients or that you want to bring to your clients, right? What's your special sauce? So it's a time for you to kind of reflect on like, what's actually working in my practice? What do I love about what I'm currently doing? And what would I change? You know, and, and whether that be in your approach, in the types of interactions that you're having with the types of clients that you're working with, you know, just give give yourself a moment to really reflect on that. Because the amazing thing is about working in the online space is that your pool of potential clients 
is like unending. So you can really refine who it is that you want to work with and how you want to work with them, right? You don't have to just take anybody with a pulse coming through the door, right? Hopefully you're not doing that, but you know what I'm saying? So also set aside at least one day per week to dedicate to working on your virtual practice, on your online practice, okay? So at the beginning, depending on your work schedule, I know some of you are working like crazy days, crazy hours. You might have to set aside like a half day on a weekend or or set aside some time blocks during the week or whatever it is that you need to do. Like if this is what you want to create, you need to make it happen. And you need to know that there's going to be a season of time where it's going to take a little bit of extra work, but know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel, right? It's not a forever thing, right? It's just like food sensitivities, right? Just like avoid this for a period of time. This is a season. It doesn't need to be forever, right? Similar, okay? Identify necessary resources like technology, equipment, software needed for your online practice. So Practice Better is my uh, my platform of choice, my client management system. Zoom, Google Voice, whatever else you might need. Um, enhance your digital skills by acquiring any additional training or knowledge required to effectively operate in the online space. Do you need mentorship? Do you need coaching? Do you need other resources? Be real with yourself. How long do you want it to take you, right? How easy do you want it to be, right? It's not going to be effortless no matter what road you take, but you can decrease that timeline. You can avoid mistakes, right? Okay. Um, And you can kind of get like a head start, right? Really collapsing those timelines in that way. Also start removing yourself from insurance panels if applicable. I remember when I started doing this back in the day, some of the panels, um, was it Kaiser? I don't remember. Um, Took like four months. So look into that as soon as possible because it can take a long time for some of them to depanel you. Um, define goals and strategies. So for weeks like three and four, clarify your, clarify your vision by defining, um, your short and long-term goals, your target audience, right? Like who you really want to be working with and your unique positioning for your online practice. Um, this could be like your, your sort of mix or special sauce or your unique modalities that you like to use, right? I work with practitioners um, who are doing things like bioresonance, right? Or maybe they're integrating homeopathy or they're integrating energetics or they're integrating um, something else. So what are the, or like human design, right? Like what are your sort of special modalities that you want to utilize and sort of emphasize when you're in the online space because your ideal clients are going to absolutely adore the fact that you love those modalities. They're going to be like, oh, that's why I want to work with you, right? So it's your time to really um, step out there and really showcase what it is that you love. So a couple of the programs that I have coming up next month is going to be Surefire Success, um, but also Ditching the Demographics, which will be later this year. These are both offered inside of the Wealth Academy. Developing a marketing strategy by outlining how you will attract and engage clients online, utilizing digital marketing channels and tactics, right? Social media. So magnetic marketing, I'll talk about that a little bit later today, Um, but that's the program for this month. Again, available in the Wealth Academy. So create a financial plan by sitting down to uh, project the costs and potential revenue streams associated with a transition to an online practice. What's your current overhead? What is, what will your new overhead be, right? Irresistible offers is um, the program I offered a couple months ago. It's inside the Wealth Academy, but that goes over overhead and things like that. Week five, so heading into the second month. Choose an online platform by selecting a secure and user-friendly platform to deliver your services and connect with clients. Again, I use Practice Better. Establish your online presence by becoming consistent with social media, creating engaging content, and optimizing your profile or profiles, depending on what you're doing. Um, Again, Magnetic Marketing is a great program for that. Implement digital systems by integrating online scheduling, payment processing, and client management tools to streamline operations. Um, Program I offered a few months ago behind the scenes is great for that. It's inside the Wealth Academy. Also cultivating your capacity to scale another program I'll be offering later this year. Um, 
inform current patients. So this one's key. I'll go into a little bit more depth in just a bit on this one, um, just because I get a lot of questions about this. So prepare a transition announcement by crafting a clear and concise message explaining the transition to an online practice, right? Emphasize the benefits for clients, but also why you're choosing to make the transition. That part is key. Then I encourage you to schedule individual conversations by personally reaching out to key patients to discuss the transition, address their concerns, and offer support. I highly recommend doing this for people that you would see as like ideal clients, like people that you love interacting and engaging with. People, when you see them on your schedule, you're like, ah, I'm so stoked that like I'm so excited they're coming in today. Like, I love this person, right? We I've talked about this numerous times. If you've seen any of my trainings in the past of just around the energy energetics of who we work with, right? Some people, there's just like this beautiful energetic exchange. It feels easy. It feels in a sense, nourishing. Um, There's a mutual respect and mutual understanding. And then there's other patients that you might work with where it just, it always feels like hard and like awkward and, and you're just like not meeting. (laughs) Do you know what I'm saying? So like only schedule those calls with people that you would love to take with you into this new endeavor that you're creating. So um, heading into weeks like seven and eight, assess how your current offerings can be adapted for online format, right? Like maybe you're ditching fee for service. Maybe you're heading into a program model or a package, or maybe you're creating a group program, whatever that may be. Um, Ensure that they provide the value to meet both yours and your clients' needs, right? It's really important that stepping into this new season of being in the online space, you get to reflect and like, what type of offers and services feel really good for me? And like my boundaries and like what I'm doing and how I'm feeling, like how can I do that? Because that's how I'm gonna better support um, my clients moving forward. So that's covered in irresistible offers. Um, So I saw a question come up here. So question is, is it Hatoya? Um, so she says, I wouldn't be transitioning a current brick and mortar practice, but rather transitioning into an online practice once school is finished. Awesome. I'm not sure if it's worth it to finish up with my residency, which is not required for my degree, but life, uh, but licensure totally depends. If you already know that you want to be an online practitioner and you want to go the health consultant route and not have a license, then you can decide like, you know, this isn't really aligned for me. Right. And that's like a self-honoring practice that you could do and just be like, yeah, like I don't want to continue with this anymore because I know this is the direction that I want to go. So just be really clear whether or not that is the direction you want to go. Right. Some people choose to keep their licenses and create like a um, two different entities where you've got your licensed practice, where you practice under the scope and you do all that stuff. And then you've got a separate um, health consultant business over here where you're not operating under your license. So it totally depends on what you want to create. Um. Consider creating digital courses, ebooks, or virtual workshops to expand your revenue streams. Um, This is just like some other ways to kind of do like opt-ins, freebies, smaller offers, things like that through Heart Centered Sales is the program that I'm going to be covering that in. Um, Consider how you can enhance the online experience for your online clients by offering interactive um, sessions, personalized recommendations, and additional resources. So I go through kind of how I create my my personal program in behind the scenes. Um, Two practices seems like way too much. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I I think so too. I dropped my license five years, six years ago. I I feel like I've been saying five years for a long time, Um, five or six years ago, and I've never looked back. It's been the best decision I ever made. Um, And so it just really depends on the type of life and lifestyle that you want to be living and like how you want to be practicing. Um, there's no right or wrong answer. It like, and that's like the biggest thing that I want to share with all of you as practitioners. It's like, I will share with you what worked for me and what I love and what feels really resonant and aligned for me. But I want you to do the same, right? Like self-leadership, discernment, like you choose what's best for you. And I think so many practitioners have had their heads down for so long, like that they've literally lost the vision. They've lost the ability to even be like, what is possible? (laughs) So I encourage you to maybe create some white space, have a staycation, go take yourself out and stay somewhere for a weekend and just allow some 
dust to settle, create some space to where you can actually tap into what you want, right? Because there's been so much programming that's happened through society and expectations and shoulds and shouldn'ts and all of the things. So I think that's like a big takeaway that I'd like to share with you is create that space and sit with what it is that you truly, truly want. Um, All right. Heading into weeks nine and 10, expanding your online presence by developing a content strategy, consistently engaging with your target audience through social media, community building and email, magnetic marketing um, is the program I'll be talking about in a little bit. Uh, Foster a supportive community by encouraging client feedback, providing ongoing support, cultivating a sense of belonging through your containers. So magnetic marketing again. Um, What else? Launch and iterate. So weeks 11 and 12. So this is like at the end of your timeline. So launch your online practice by promoting your online services, leveraging your network and digital marketing channels. So I'll be going over this in heart-centered sales. Collect client feedback and continuously improve your online practice, refining processes, services, and client experience. Of course, this is going to be an ongoing thing. It's not like I'm only doing this weeks 11 and 12. Like this is a constant refinement process, right? Um, But I go over this through crafting the perfect protocol and cultivating your capacity to scale those programs inside the Wealth Academy. And then adapt and grow by staying updated on industry trends, incorporate new technologies, seize opportunities for further growth and expansion. I cover that in effortless expansion. So lots of stuff there. Um, Curious to know if that is helpful for you just to kind of see a proposed timeline. Again, you can shift things around, you can extend, you can shorten all the things. Um, So I want to take a moment to dive a little bit deeper into the transition announcement, like actually communicating to your current patient base. So let's dive in. So with the transition announcement, I usually like to give them about a 60 to 90 day period or notice. Um, Prepare a clear and concise message explaining the transition to an online practice. Emphasize the benefits by highlighting the advantages of the online format, such as, you know, increased convenience, flexibility and scheduling, improved service, right? Like really comparing the type of service that you can provide um, in the online space versus what they've been experiencing, expanded access to resources. I really encourage you to get them excited with you, right? Because I think a lot of times practitioners almost like like shut down the excitement because there's this guilt or the shame around like, oh, like, I don't know if I should be doing this or I'm going to disappoint all these people or I'm going to hurt these people's feelings or I'm going to let these people down or however you want to say it, right? And so we kind of like dampen our excitement. And I think there's a real missed opportunity there to explain why you're really doing this and how it makes you feel and how it lights you up and how you're able to serve so much better. And like, just really getting like, get like, bring them in, like bring them into the behind the scenes of like your decision process and how, you know, you've spent X amount of years or months or weeks or whatever doing it this way. And it's just been, it's, it hasn't been fulfilling for you and being transparent and honest because they're going to see themselves in your story to some degree, right? Like just sharing vulnerably, like, Hey, this isn't working. And this is what I'm creating. I'm so freaking excited because I'm going to be able to show up this way for you. And I'm going to be able to offer this. And I'm going to be able to spend this amount of time with you. And I'm going to be able to, which means we're going to get better results. Like just I, I, I highly encourage you to play around with this and like get them excited with you and the right people, your ideal clients, the people that you actually want to go with you into your online practice are going to read that and be like, oh my God, that's freaking amazing. And like, I never even thought that was possible. Like, I would love to go with you. I would love to stay with you and stay on board. Right. Like, how cool would that be to like have an automatic, like, oh, I have, I have my online practice is already exists, right? Because I brought the coolest people in my patient base with me, okay? So also anticipate potential concerns and address them proactively in your announcement, reassuring patients about the continuity of their care, their quality of services in the online setting, right? Provide referral information if needed or if if applicable, okay? Ah, 
so that was it. I hope that was helpful for you. I would love your feedback. I would love to know if there's any ahas that you had um, from this masterclass. But I want to share with you what is coming up. Actually, this week, we start on Thursday. I'm so freaking excited. It has been so much fun putting together this material for you guys. So Magnetic Marketing is the brand new live program I have for this month. Compelling content creation to go from invisible to irresistible. Um, so some of you know, this is material that up until now, it's only been taught inside of the Wealth Mentorship, which is now called the Wealth Academy. I have done a complete revamp of the container and everything about it. Um, but you have the opportunity to get this program as a standalone item for this one time only. Like I'm not going to be sh like selling this program separately at all ever again. Um, at least that's not my intention, um, but it will be put inside of the Wealth Academy. So like I said, we're starting on Thursday. It's going to be Thursday, Friday this week, Thursday, Friday, the following week, um, which feels like a really good cadence. The last couple of times I've run the, the live programs because there's a little bit of time for integration and implementation, which feels really good. So Thursdays, Fridays this week, next week, 1130 Pacific, 230 Eastern, there will be replays available. Lesson one. Um, oh, I forgot to put there's some pre-work too. So I actually have a, a separate lesson that I'm going to be um, giving out to called pre-work, which is basically just optimizing your social profile. So um, it's kind of like a mini training on that. But then I've got lesson one, becoming a magnetic marketer. So unleashing the power of branding, embodiment, and leadership. Lesson two, crafting irresistible content, mastering copy, creative, and consistency. Lesson three, delivering magnetic content, amplifying your impact across platforms. And then lesson four, building your magnetic community, harnessing the power of social media. I've got some resources included. There's probably going to be more, um, but what I have so far, alignment checklist, your branding blueprint, content idea generator, messaging frameworks, marketing calendar, conversations guides, like this shit is good. So regularly, um, we did have a pre-sale last month, but that deadline has passed. So regularly right now it's 1,111 to join, but as a Facebook group member, you get 222 off, which is 889, I think. Um, <laughs> so if you join before Thursday, the, the price is going to increase again on Thursday. So that's two, three days away. Um, I also have an up optional upgrade that you can join, which is a small group mastermind call. Um, it's a live Q&A call with me plus one week of Voxer support with me. So that is a voice and text, uh, like a voice note and text app, um, like a walkie talkie app on the phone. Um, so you can just upgrade if you want that. And then if you do want to join the Wealth Academy within 30 days of joining this program, you can actually put this tuition towards your enrollment fee. So if you're interested, let me know. Um, you can either DM me for the link or touch base with me on Instagram, Facebook, wherever. But that is what I have for you. I hope this was informative. I hope this was helpful. I didn't see any other questions come in i don't think okay perfect so again if you guys are um if you do have any last minute questions feel free to pop them in the chat and then if you guys are watching the replay let me know and let me know if you have any questions at all um i really i really really hope that you can put this into practice and start making your transition it is so worth it i would never ever no one could pay me to go back to doing brick and mortar <laughs> i'll just say that <laughs> but um anyways Oh, have a beautiful rest of your Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday or whenever you're watching this replay. Um, have a beautiful rest of your week and I hope to connect with you soon. All right, that's a wrap for today. If you want the exact breakdown of how I help practitioners go from their first 5K to consistent 50K months with just two offers, 10 hours per week, and an audience of less than 500 people, be sure to click the link in the podcast description or head to wealthywoman.co forward slash breakdown. To make sure you don't miss an episode, be sure to subscribe. And for daily online practice insights, follow me on Instagram at wealthywoman.co. Let's create your life of wealth full of abundance, purpose, health, wealth, and joy.